one timers here, Matt and Justin. Let's talk about this one. Germany, who won Group G, taking on Algeria, the the unlikely runners up in Group H. Um, and this the one, Desert Foxes. what's that? The Desert Foxes. Yep, the Desert Foxes. Um, they needed that draw against Russia to get in. Uh, they got it. They did lead Belgium for a long time, but ended up losing that one. That was in the game one. And then game two, they had an offensive splurge, uh, defeated Korea Republic 4-2. Um, but I think this is a big moment for Algeria because, remember, back in 1982, uh, Germany scored an early goal against Austria, and then both teams played the rest of the game just pretty much just passing around because they knew that was all that was needed to get both teams into the knockout phase, and the team that was left behind was Algeria. And a lot of folks saying that Algeria is now excited that they get a chance to, to really kind of get back and get to play Germany all these years after that. Yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun watching the, uh, the Al- Algeria-Russia game. I really, uh, Algeria plays a lot of heart. I think the, the fans are going absolutely crazy and deservingly so. Uh, I, I uh, this chart, what, number 21, no, not number 21, uh, Tijabu, I don't know if I'm, I probably have got that right, they had, they had this one guy who was an absolute animal, they had a couple of players, yeah. who were just, who were taking it to, uh, to Russia, and those, those are probably a lot of players who are, uh, on, on, uh, Zenit or various teams. And Algeria looks a better team. Um, obviously, this is probably the biggest lopsided match, in my opinion, in the first in this knockout round. Um, uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how much possession Algeria gets. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that the thing with Germany, I think teams, you really have to counter. I think. Once Germany set their defense up, they're so hard to beat because they're, they're so big on defense. Yeah. And they have so many big guys. All their guys are 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so once they are set up, their, their, their speed, or lack of speed doesn't matter. But uh, some of the guys on it, Algeria um, can test them. I, I remember Algeria did a great job uh, uh, taking down on the counter all, all the various teams. Uh, and they're... Uh, and showed off their counterattack. So if they can counterattack and get a goal or two, get a goal maybe early, uh, and then they have to defend the defend like the Desert Foxes, it could be, it, it, it's really what they would have to do. I don't, they're not going to get too many chances. Germany really showed off against us. What they can do with possession. So mm-hmm. it's going to be an uphill battle. I, I agree. I, well, I think Germany... I think I agree with you. Uh, this is probably the most lopsided match. I think Germany sh- they should beat Algeria. But with that being said, Algeria played they played very well defensively. Um, it took Belgium all the way till what the 80th minute, I think, until or maybe about like I think it was maybe the, the 78th or something minute until they figured out how to sc- the, how till Bo- Belgium was able to score on Algeria. So Algeria plays a very good defensive style, but they do counter um, fairly well. And I think that very well could be dangerous for Germany because that you you, you know sure they had possession everything against the United States but they only won one nil and it took a moment of real of real brilliance from Mueller to score that one goal so Algeria defending basically kind of the same way the U.S. is going to defend um, it will really come down to if they have that speed to counter because we saw that with Ghana Germany was terrible against Ghana when Ghana was using their speed because they're playing all four all four uh, defensive guys are all four center backs for their club so there's no real speed on the back line for Germany Lom's not even playing in, in his, his normal spot he's playing in the midfield so I think if Algeria can use some speed that can possibly spell some danger for the Germans I don't know if I agree with the German strategy I think Lom's one of the best uh, wing backs that there are. I think mean, he's so smart and so good at hustling back. Um, I just, I know, I know Schweinsteiger is getting older, but I think uh, Schweinsteiger, where Cutler Lom is now, would be more effective where he is, and then Lom in the back. Yes. Or, I'm not sure uh, if Kadir is in the, in the roster or not, but Kadir, I know he could also uh, do that as well. Um, it's, it's 
one of those things where we know in sports, and I think me and you have kind of seen it with in the in March Madness or or some and another type of tur- the tournament of that type. When you have a team like Algeria or like Mercer in, in Final Four, that uh, they're they're kind of I don't know if they're happy to be there, but they kind of know that everything from this point on is is going to be icing on the cake. They I think their fans kind of know this is going to it'll be a an absolutely huge upset if they beat the, one of the tournament favorites. Mm-hmm. But when you know that you can't fail to some degree, if, I mean, if Algeria were to lose two to three to zero, I don't think anyone would would bad eye. I mean, it would, wouldn't it be they'd be disappointed, of course. But I don't think anyone um, wouldn't say they wouldn't expect that type of result. So I think there's something dangerous to say when these teams like Algeria know that. Um, they can't. They're playing to win, and they 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 have the country behind them, and um, and they're already so proud of them and their results. So I think Algeria is going to be dangerous. I honestly, this is, it's, I just want. I think I think it's going to take a late winner from Germany to win. I think I think I think it's going to be either a one zero two one game. I think that's a football they pick versus a law. But I yeah. think it's going to happen. Uh, I th- I think the Germans I think Germany does get through this one, but I think it will be a little bit tougher um, than what most people think. Um, I almost you know I'm willing to say that it could it could very well be a nil nil game, and, and Klose has to come in and get the winner, uh, which would also give him that record too, which would be a, a pretty special event. But also, I mean, like I said, Algeria. I still think people are pretty salty in Algeria about what Germany and Austria did way back in 82, and now this is a chance for Algeria to knock Germany, one of the favorites, out of the tournament. Um, but I think I do agree with you. Uh, both of us are taking Germany in this one. 